It's the modern take on smoking behind the bleachers. There is a parenting alert this morning about the danger of teens vaping. The FDA warning about liquid nicotine used in e-cigarettes. Juuling, named after this brand of vape pen, exploding in popularity among teens. A hidden trend now coming out of the shadows. I've definitely seen kids drool in class. Kids are going to the bathroom, smoking it in stalls. Next thing you know, you're hooked like that, and you can't stop. School districts cracking down, parents up in arms, and kids, some unwittingly, becoming addicted to nicotine before they even graduate from middle school. Their hand to this product, and they don't know what it is. They don't know it's nicotine. They don't know it's bad for you. They don't know the long-term consequences. The Juul heats up liquid nicotine that users inhale, made for adult smokers looking to quit cigarettes. I'm like constantly encouraging people to use this and not smoke. They feature flavors like cool mint and fruit medley. It's capsules or pods, which some kids tell us they go through in a day, contain roughly the same amount of nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. It's packaging more like a Silicon Valley must have than a smoking product. You have a techie device. It looks really cool. It's slim. You can hold it in your, the palm of your hand. Your teacher, your parent has no idea what's going on. Uh, you can get it in cool flavors. Those flavors, part of what freshman Margarita Ferreira says enticed her. I've never been exposed to tobacco. Why would I try it? But since I was exposed to fruit, obviously, and mango and mint, that I just thought it was OK. She says she's been juuling for about a year, and she started in eighth grade. The first time I used a jewel, I couldn't stop coughing. Like, I didn't really like it, but then after I got the hang of it and I was able to get head rushes, I was just, like, I just didn't want to stop using it. It's just a part of my life now that, like, I know it's bad, but I can't stop. Margarita sharing her struggles alongside her high school classmates in this now viral video. All of the people in my grade started using it. When I'm doing my homework every night, I'll be writing, and then all of a sudden I'll want a jewel rip, and I'll have my pencil in my right hand and my jewel in my left. The project, the brainchild of high school senior Jack Waxman, who says he grew more and more concerned watching his friends struggle with nicotine addiction. The problem was getting worse and worse in my school, and I felt like I wanted to create a video as a kind of like a cautionary tale to sixth graders maybe who are thinking of starting the jewel. Kids say a jewel is easy to conceal, e-cigarette vapor less visible and less odorous compared to smoking. With cigarettes right now, it's highly stigmatized. Um, it's very frowned upon to use it, but with the Juul, kids see it as something that is kind of just like their iPhone. You know, they have their Juul and their iPhone. At school, kids will leave class to go to the bathroom because at any point of the day, there will be someone, there will definitely be someone in the bathroom. Either it's the girls' or boys' bathroom, there will be someone with a Juul or any type of e-cigarette. A month after that video went live, Jack's about to take his advocacy work up a notch. Off to meet with legislators to try to raise the age to buy any kind of nicotine in his county to 21 and lobby against those vape flavors. Do you ever wonder, though, if you banned the flavors here that it would just pop up elsewhere? So I think if we ban the flavors in Westchester, I think that it would set a great precedent in New York and maybe other counties would follow the suit. I think we have the possibility to have a great ripple effect and for Westchester to take the lead and to kind of be the first, be the first step in a long line of um, youth prevention. The e-cigarette industry has surged in popularity with Juul leading the pack, increasing its revenue by 700% last year. And with it, a swell of online fandom Jokes, memes, and tricks posted by users, not the company, dedicated to Juul culture. Hashtags like do it for Juul, all adding to the cool factor that some say is drawing kids to use. This little flash drive, feel it in your hands. It feels like really, really sleek. Jack's literally showing these lawmakers what they're dealing with, asking them to crack down. I'm promoting regulating the flavors for across the entire population. This is a list of where um, cities and counties have um, regulated flavored tobacco products for the entire population. 
The 2009 Tobacco Control Act banned flavors in regular cigarettes across the country. Jack now wants to ban e-cigarette flavors as well. Jewel says our flavors are in no way intentioned for underage use, noting that our data shows that flavors play a critical role in helping adult smokers permanently switch from cigarettes to Jewel. Adding that all of our adult flavors are tested on adult panels only, and we specifically avoid excessively sweet flavors like cotton candy or gummy bear. Of course, um, you can't um, put up barriers on usage, but I think, do you think you can put up barriers on, on the sale? The legal department has to take a deeper dive into okay. that. In one study, 63% of jewelers between the ages of 15 to 24 say they didn't even know the product always contains nicotine. Another recent study suggests that e-cigarettes are a gateway to traditional cigarettes, with roughly 3 million adolescents now using e-cigarettes exposed to that risk. These three flavors have no place in our society. They exist because of a loophole. Jewel says their product is designed exclusively for adults looking to quit smoking, and they're investing $30 million to independent research, youth and parent education and prevention. Telling ABC News, we cannot be more emphatic on this point. No young person or non-nicotine user should ever try Juul. And the research supports it. For adult smokers, switching to e-cigarettes could be a safer option. One study noting they don't have the lethal mix of carbon monoxide and 70 known cancer-causing chemicals found in cigarettes. Well, I think if Juul's intention, uh, which is a good one, uh, is to help adult smokers stop using a more deadly product, unfortunately, that's not exactly what's happening here. While the long-term impacts of nicotine are still being studied, some experts warn the potential harm on a developing brain can't be overlooked. And nicotine is very, very dangerous for adolescent brains. Dr. Sarper Taskaran is a child and adolescent psychiatrist. By exposing them to uh, nicotine chronically, then you irreversibly damage uh, the reward systems in the brain. He says nicotine use in adolescents can cause reduced attention span, diminished cognition, and enhanced impulsivity. The FDA has been criticized by health groups for delaying e-cigarette regulation. But the agency now beginning to look into the youth appeal of several companies, including Juul. Here. Okay, thanks. What about the skepticism that this is like a game of whack-a-mole? Like you could stop it here, but it's going to pop up elsewhere. People will buy it online. It comes down to more regulation in the form of legislation, more prevention in the form of youth-to-youth -youth talks, and more engagement with parents. So I think the legislation is just a part of it, of a much larger movement and a much larger goal. Yeah. Just weeks after that initial meeting, a step towards that goal. Westchester County raising the legal age to buy tobacco and nicotine from 18 to 21. For Jack, a victory. He hopes the first of many. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in Scarsdale, New York. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.